Hi, it's Michelle here. My name's Michelle Dutrissa and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Now, just let me just grab my tablet and see if I can bring us up on this this week. Last week we couldn't find us. And looks like we're up and running. Fantastic. If I don't see your comments, then um, I will try to catch up with them afterwards. Um, the other day I posted on my Facebook page that I'd be looking at doing some uh, classes working on the basics for stamping up. So that's what I thought we'd look at tonight. So we're going to start off right from the very, very beginning to, from your catalogue. So I'm going to bring in, take my catalogue and I'm going to turn the screen the other direction. So just bear with me while I do that and we'll get started. Anyway, this is our um, annual catalogue that Stamping Up put up put out. It comes out uh, once every year, around about July. So in this catalogue, you'll find all our products, and they're fantastic products. So as I said, this is our annual catalogue. comes out once a year, and it's full of all our wonderful current products. When you receive your catalogue and you open it up, down here at the very front, We've got some um, a bit of a menu about what's in the catalogue and you can see that this logo here, this logo will appear throughout the catalogue. When you see this logo, it's on bundles and you'll get a 10% discount. So a bundle is usually a stamp set and dies or a stamp set and a punch that go together. And you think with the N is a new product that's just uh, brand new for this uh, catalogue. And then down the bottom you've got YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook and Instagram. Now on YouTube you'll always find some videos that Stamping Up bring out about some of their products and how to use them. So that's always a really good feature. If you're not sure what to do, just check it out on YouTube under the Stamping Up. If we go through here, we have on our next page, we have all our different types of stamps. We have two different types of stamps. We have a photopolymer stamp, which is this clear stamp, and I've got one here to show you. So let me grab it for you. Now, they all our stamps come into a box like this, a CD box or a DVD box. The best way to keep them is keep them in the box. So this is a photopolymer stamp. It's a clear stamp. You can see through it. Now, they will discolor when you use your pinks and your reds. As you can see, we I did a class the other night, and we used reds, so... It has discoloured and that is quite normal now if you've cleaned them properly then that colour is not going to transfer to your next project so keep them in between well I find it's easy to keep them in between the plastics and you just peel them off and there's your stamp so that's one type of stamp now we adhere all our stamps onto clear blocks and I'll show you those in a moment our second type of stamp is probably our main one is our red rubber cling stamps now the cling stamps are a new stamp to stamping up and what it is that when you get your stamps oops, let me show you the box it comes with a, um, a red rubber form like this with your stamps already in it and then you'll also receive your transfers which goes onto the back of the stamp so I'm going to show you how to, to transfer those. I'll just move my catalogue out of the road for the moment. We'll bring that back. And I'll pop that out of the road for the moment as well. So once you get your stamps and they're like this, you just break that apart. Okay, your stamps come, come out of there quite easily. And once you've taken them all out, you can discard this if you want. Some people do keep it to keep their stamps in. It's up to you. So let's move that out of the road. So there's our red rubber stamp. And here's our transfer that's going to go onto the back of it. Just the same as I have on the back of this one here. So to transfer it, we've got a backing on the back of here. So we're just going to peel that backing off. And just be very careful because we don't want to damage any of that foam. And then you're going to find the corresponding picture that goes with that stamp. Now when you, on one side of this, you've got a, um, a shiny surface. 
and if you push it there'll be a split there in, in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to peel off that backing paper there lay it down nice and flat now that's what i find is the easiest and then very gently lay that in exactly the same position and then push that down flat now i find that is the easiest way for me to add the backing onto your back of your stamp and when you peel that off just peel it off very carefully you might need to get your fingernails or something underneath that whoops because again you still got to be careful we don't damage that foam that will come off like that now the reason why these are called cling stamps is because that will stick okay the previous ones that they had didn't stick so well but these ones will stick very well so if I grab a block let me just grab a small block from over here so I lay that down where I want it to go and I just put my block straight down on top and pick that up now that won't come off okay that is stuck on there quite firmly when you take off your block you do have to be very careful because it sticks so well that if you're rough with taking this off you will separate your foam and you do need your foam so the best way to get it off is actually get again your fingernail underneath and just peel it off now what I do to make life a little bit easier for me I use some old washi tape and I just peel off a little bit and stick that just on the edge there so then the next time I want to peel that off so if I put my stamp down put my block on it pick it up I've got now a spot where I can start peeling I don't have to put my fingernail under it then they would just stick then in my case just like that for the next time I need to use them so they're the two stamp types that we have we have your red rubber cling and your photopolymer now as I said before both of these you need to use with the block so we have these perspex blocks they're a really good size block they're quite nice and thick and they're easy to grab because they do have an indentation at the sides and we carry um, a range of all different sizes so you can go from quite a large block like this one here to smaller smaller and then quite small so there's quite a few different size blocks there and you'll find all of those in your catalog as well now let me move all this out of the road and I'll show you where you'll find your blocks in your catalog so when you're going through the catalog and you're looking at the stamps you will see um, let's just choose a page here down the bottom here it says cling stamp on others on this page here it says photopolymer okay so that's how you know your differences in your two stamps that you're getting whoops they cling so well they stick even to my catalog so if we go through here to the back of the catalog just take that out there on page 182 you have all your list of your different types of blocks that you can get so when you purchase your stamps you do need to purchase blocks with them if you don't already have blocks but once you've purchased those blocks once that's it you don't need to purchase them again every time you purchase your stamps you just continue using your blocks interchanging the stamps from your blocks as I said before always keep your stamps inside their box especially your photopolymer because you really don't want those going into the light for too long a period of time okay so now we've covered your stamps in your catalog also in your catalog you'll find all your cardstock now the beauty of stamping up is all our col colors um, correspond with our um, inks so when you're looking at an ink in Highland Heather you'll also find that the cardstock and other accessories come in that as well so we have here on this page here we have our different collections of um, papers our cardstock so you've got your neutrals your brights your subtles your regals 
and then we have our ink colors which change every two years so with these as you can see here with these colors here you can get a4 cardstock you can get your classic stamp ink pads and you get some refills and we also have matching ribbon so everything coordinates and that is the beauty of stamping up that everything coordinates with our designer series papers our products in the um, cardstock and the inks and everything all coordinate you don't have to go searching for um, the matching colors and that goes to all your accessories as well whether that be buttons or brads or anything like that now I'm not going to get too tied down with our um, catalog because I think I'd like to leave something for you to find out for yourself by looking through it now if you do need a catalog let me know and we can get one out to you now also on this page here we have all our basic papers so you have your A4 cardstock and shimmery white very vanilla and whisper white as well and there should be black somewhere over here as well but I can't quite find that tonight we're going to make a card and we're actually going to use our note cards and envelopes so if you're brand new to stamping this is a really good way to start just start with some note cards and a stamp set so all we're looking at the moment is purchasing a good stamp set that's appropriate to what you want to do some note cards and envelopes which will get you started and then some inks now go back here as I said before with our inks all our inks um, are all coordinated but they're all a water-based ink we do have a couple of other inks which I'm not going to talk about tonight but all our classic ink pads are a water-based ink so they're really good to use if you get on your hands you can easily wash it off you can easily wash it off with your stamps but we do also have cleaning tools with our stamps as well we have a stamp and scrub which is this product here and we have a now this is a very very old bottle I do have a new bottle somewhere but this is our stamp and mist so what you have is you have a wet side and you have a dry side you spray that once you're finished working with your stamp now that spray that stamp and mist also has a conditioner in it for your stamps you give your stamp a really good scrub and that cleans all that ink off it and then on the other side and that will dry it off the other product that we have is and I'm just trying to see if I can find one here that's not going to bump the camera hold on a sec is we have a chamois okay and you can that is your chamois and you just put water on that soak it up with some water it does get pretty dirty but that some of that will wash out but it does stain it's never going back to its pretty purple color again and this is really good for working with the stamparatus but it's also really good if you're on the go just give your stamps a really good clean with that as well I've just bought a, um, this little uh, case here which we sell just to add that in there and I just close up one end of it so then it does um, it's got a bit of air going in and we don't get moisture um, building up and we don't get mold in there so that's our chamois and that's our stamp and scrub let's pop those two out of the road for the moment so we've looked at stamp sets there are two different types of stamp sets poly uh, photopolymer and our red rubber um, we've looked at the fact that all our colors and everything coordinate with each other right through we've looked at the fact that you can buy your clear, um, clear blocks to be able to put your stamps onto and the ink pads so stamps inks and our paper which tonight when we make a card we're going to be using the note cards and envelopes there is a lot more in this catalog to have a look at now stamping up also have two other catalogs which I'd like to quickly show you and that is our creative creativity is calling which is our holiday catalog and this is full of all our Christmas products so this will run to about the 2nd of January um, so in here you've got all your Christmas stamps and um, kits and everything in there right through to 
Halloween, Thanksgiving, New Year. So there's a lot of new products in there as well. The third catalogue that Stamping Up has is just for the beginners, for the people who have never really tried stamping up or stamping before and would like to give it a go. So this is a really fantastic little catalogue. We have a few kits in here as well, so you can purchase a kit such as this one here, where a lot of the work is already pre-done for you. You've got everything you need in the kit. It comes with a little stamping spot. It comes with a block. And it comes with your stamps so you can very quickly and easily put together cards yourself it also has a, a range of simple stamps now you can purchase each of these products individually or you can purchase them all together so it's delightful days tags and up here there's a number 152864 and for $82.75 you can purchase all of these products so you can make these tags yourself so this is a really great little um, catalogue if you've never given it a go before if you'd like to have a workshop and you live local to me just give me a ring and we can actually choose something out of this catalogue and make it with your friends so I'm going to pop this all away because what we are about is about making cards so I don't want to dwell too much on this I want to get in and show you how to make a card I want to show you the best techniques to use for a very, very basic finish on a card. So let me pop those to one side. And I'm going to bring in the card. This is the card that we're going to make tonight. A very, very simple one layer note card. Now, as I said before, you can get packs of note cards in the envelopes. And this is how it comes. So in here, You've got 20 note cards and 20 envelopes. A really great way to start stamping because you've got everything there to start with. You can go and purchase all your card stock maybe a little bit later on where you can make your own card, a much larger card, which is more your regular size. But we're going to start tonight with this, get the rubbish, that rubbish out of the road, with this card here. So what I'm going to use with this card We've got your note cards and envelopes. We're going to use basic grey stamp pad. And we're going to use three coordinating stamp pads or monochromatic stamp pads, which is Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape and Purple Posy. Now I'm going to show you how to open these stamp pads. This is an old one, so in, but these three here... Are new ones and they open up just like you would open up a compact so what you do there's a little notch just there put your finger in there lift it straight up that's a bit stiff because it is brand new and then push the lid closed your stamp pad is actually in the lid of the stamp set so that means that your stamp um, stamp pad is always upside down and the ink is up to the surface of your ink pad and that's really how you should store them. Now these ink pads are really great because they actually will, and if I close this one here as well, so again to close it, what I do is I put my fingers in there, pull it forward towards me, pull it completely out, flip it over and close. But these will all store nice and flat like that. So they're really great. You can stack them up quite high. In our catalogue, we also do have storage systems for keeping all your stamps, stamp pads and um, blender pens and other products that we have. So that is always really a great investment as well. But you can st stack them quite simply like that if you wish. Okay, so we're going to get started with this stamp, stamp set. The stamp set we're using tonight, whoops, it's on the other side of me. is called Beauty Abounds. Okay, so that's a very nice um, stamp set. Very easy. It's got some beautiful fonts and some really lovely sentiments there. It's got a couple of wonderful images and then some other little images that we can use to fill in some backgrounds. 
I hope that's not getting too much glare for you. So this is a stamp set that we're going to use. Now I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, if there are comments, I will get back to you towards the end. Okay, so let's start. So as I said, we're going to need an envelope and a card. With our card now you can either work on it nice and flat or you can fold it i'm going to actually work on this one flat like that i'm going to move everything here out of the road now i've already put my stamps on their blocks but an easy way to put your stamp on your block is move that so you can see put your stamp down onto your work surface and that cling is clinging to me and then bring your block straight down. And you'll do that a lot too with photopolymer. Because photopolymer, um, especially when it's a very thin stamp, there's a lot of twist and bend in it. So if you want it to stick to shape, if you lay it down flat and then put your stamp, your um, block straight down on top. So we're going to start with our sentiment and we're going to use do it first. So this is an old style one, so it doesn't quite open the same as the others but the ink pad is still um, in the lid. And we're going to stamp this. Now when you stamp, ink up your ink pad, don't push it down too hard. Just tap it. You're better off tapping it a lot of times, okay, than pushing really down hard. Because when you push down hard, what happens is all the ink oozes up to the sides and it'll go all around these edges here. And it will cause a halo effect. So we don't really want that. We want a nice, clean, stamped image. So we're just going to tap that lightly. And I'm just going to line this up on my grid paper. This grid paper is also available. This particular one here is our Christmas one. Um, it's also available to order. It's not in our catalogues, but I can get it for you. And it's really great to have a work surface like this to keep everything clean underneath you. And we're just going to stamp off our um, sentiment there. Now I'm just going to hold that down for a few seconds just to let that ink settle. So I'm stamping straight down and straight up. I'm not rocking it or anything like that. So I'm not moving my stamp backwards and forwards. I'm just going straight down and straight up. And that will give us a nice, clean, clear image. So let me close up this one here. The next colour we're going to go to is our darkest colour in the purples. So that's our gorgeous grape. Don't you love those names? I think they're fantastic. So there's our gorgeous grape. And again, now this is um, the stamp pads are made of foam. And that's why you don't press down. So we, get, we just tap quite lightly on there. And you can check, make sure you've got enough coverage, and just tap again. So it's only a very, very light tap. If you've got a really huge stamp, what you can do is you can take your stamp, and you take your stamp to your, your stamp pad to your stamp. So again, just tapping lightly. Now I did get a bit of ink on here, so I'm going to wipe that off with my finger. Because I don't want any haloing, but then I'm not going to rock it, am I? We're going to take our block, position it where I want it to go, and stamp straight down. Let's leave it there for a couple of seconds, let that ink settle, and then lift it straight up. Beautiful. Another good image. Probably did rock it just a tiny little bit. It's a little bit blurred there. But that's okay, because you're not going to notice any of that when we're finished. So... Close up that one now that we're finished with it, and we'll go on to the next one. So the next colour we're going to use is the Highland Heather, because that's the next colour down. And in the Highland Heather, we're going to stamp our little butterfly. Okay, just... okay, sorry about that. I think we may have lost you. Um, okay. So let me just, I'm not quite sure where it's finished, 
somewhere along the line I think with that phone call I have lost this so I'm terribly sorry um, what we ended up just doing was we stamped off our first image using the Highland Heather then we did our butterfly using the um, sorry we used gorgeous grape for our first one for the, the big piece down here then our butterfly we did in Highland Heather and then we just using this little stamp here we just stamped off a few um, other pieces in purple posy and that just finished off our card now I'm not quite sure how much of that we missed so the things that we're looking at today is your stamp pads so your stamp pads are a water-based stamp pad they're easy to store easy to look after you need your blocks you need stamps and when you stamp down you don't push too hard on your stamp pad we don't want to send it through to China like I tell the girls in my class you just want to tap very lightly stamp straight down so what I might do is we might actually put another little bit in here so we can just catch up so with these stamps you had a sentiment that went on the front there is a sentiment we can put inside so I'm just going to just recap some of what we may have missed and as I said I'm terribly sorry about that so I'm just going to in the bottom corner just stamp the other sentiment the first one read our friendship isn't one big thing and this one says it's a million little things which I think is quite cute so then I'm going to go to the Highland Heather and stamp our smaller butterfly and as I said we're just going straight down we're not rocking it and then with this one here just put a couple of little accents just there like that okay so that just finishes off our card now if you wanted to you could grab your envelope okay so here's our lovely envelope now our envelopes are all wonderful quality quality envelope so what we're going to do here I've got all the ink pads bar one I needed open getting quite a few of them around me at the moment so we're going to ink this one up as I said before tap 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 just very lightly now I've got my I'm going to do it here on the back so I'm going to fold that open like that and then just cross the back here I'm just going to stamp that straight down just hold it without rocking and then lift it straight up beautiful Now we're going to have this butterfly, I think, going, oh, where would I put him? I think she can just go right there. And then a couple of these, which just gives a bit of extra colour. So there we are. So now we have our envelope, our card. So let's fold our card in half. We've got a mountain here. And you've got a valley there so we always fold with our mountain on the inside close it up oh I must have had ink on my hands that'll be right get it everywhere so we have our card and our envelope to match so I hope you've enjoyed that tonight I'm sorry for the break in the video so that's stamps ink and paper hashtag one so next week we'll have stamps ink and paper hashtag two and hopefully we won't get a phone call through it anyway thank you very much for listening um i will try if this is all um on youtube well i will try if it's all on facebook okay to add this to my youtube channel in the next week or so and so you can come back and watch these at any time please share with your friends um and if anyone would like catalogs or anything like that just contact me and i can get a catalog out to you Thank you. Have a lovely evening. Bye for now.